question and answer Wednesday is like a quick kick to the face. Ugh. Gets the day started right. Let's do this. Welcome to question and answer Wednesday. As always, housekeeping items, let's get them out of the way. Number one, I had a class this past weekend. At one point, I'm like, I'm just shutting down my school. The students asked for the craziest things. They were so needy. They wanted heated seats in the bathroom, an ice machine, shower facilities with unlimited hot water, ice cream, boot heaters, an on-site sharpening service for their knives and axes, back rubs. That was really awkward. It was at a weird time during the training that they asked for that. And they also expected me to walk around all night and keep their fires going. <laughs> so all kidding aside, they actually did ask for all that stuff, but it was all just in fun. We had a great class. So for the March 2018 basic bushcraft class, two thumbs up, awesome job. Boom, I'd fist bump if I can't break the camera lens due to my muscles. On to the questions for real this time. We have to start out though by saying that this question was <laughs> the most ridiculous one that I got all week. Okay, question one. First time watching. Watch a lot of bushcraft YouTube sends me this. Grown man rides a mini bike poorly through the woods, calls it his, quote, motorcycle. Can't pronounce bowsaw, bowsaw? But says he has a hot wife, lives in a yurt, parentheses circus tent and I will stop there literally stop the video real dirt bikes will go anywhere four-wheelers can't when you find a cheap one and daddy fixes it for you maybe you will experience that don't know what the f this is supposed to be later loser okay <laughs> If you can't laugh about that, I don't know if that's supposed to be funny, if they're being funny about it, or if the person just becomes super irate. The way I'm taking it, super irate. So we're gonna break that down just a little bit. I feel like that this is a typical troll online, just sweating in his mom's basement, in his fruit of the looms, just smashing the keys, very angry. He didn't have a mini bike when he was growing up, and only losers make fun of other people, okay? I'm definitely on the winning end of this whole deal. <laughs> that was great though, I had to share that with everybody. Side note number 77, I know I'm doing a lot of side notes today or I feel at least like I have been. I'm trying to read these off my phone so my screen's going, I'm trying to it just beep the last segment. Ugh. I think I'm gonna have it finally squared away now. Does your mustache hanging over your top lip bother you? It obviously bothers you. It does after a while, if the mustache hair gets too long, it's in your mouth, it's just, you're, you're trying to eat your steak and drink a beer, there's beer foam and you're chewing on, no, uh, it, it does, it bothers me. You have to trim up once in a while, but you can't trim too much that it looks real, it's, it's a big hassle. Hey Dan, when it comes to camp fun, either you or your mates or alone, what do you do for fun? Perhaps play an instrument like harmonica or tin whistle, maybe chess or cards, tell jokes or stories. We don't play any music. Majority of the time we sit around, tell stories and just talk about random stuff. Why in the world are you wearing Marty McFly underwear? Because I'm from the future. When's the collaboration with Jaws Townsend and Sons coming out? I am going away this week to start working on a video collaboration with them. The videos will be on their channel. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Even if you're not in a reenactment, he does some great cooking videos. Now we're gonna have some great survival videos on there about the Long Hunter era. How much coal would a coal cracker crack if a coal cracker could crack coal? Bet you didn't think I was gonna say it that fast, did ya? I'm gonna say three tons in a day. What are your thoughts on guns? Do you carry? I do conceal carry at times, other times I don't. When I come out in the woods, shotgun 22, depending on what's going on in the area and why I would need the gun out here. Hey Cracker, why are fire trucks red? Very inquisitive question. I spent about 37 seconds on Google trying to figure this out. Nobody in the first like six pages of Google that I checked out in that time frame knew, so I have no idea. You're gonna have to do more research on your own. Sorry about that. What about a bushcraft bike and quad race? All right, we'll do that at some point. Put that down in my old noggin note bin. And we'll do it. We're gonna do it. Can you do more cooking with coal cracker videos, please? Yeah, I don't know why I got away from that. I got just sidetracked on other small other projects and videos. I want to get back to that. Let's start that up again next week. Would you recommend an old military surplus Alice pack? I've never personally used an Alice pack with a frame. I have an Alice pack that I attach the straps to, and I used to use that a lot. Not really for bushcrafting, but just being out in the woods. It's they're overall they're good bags. They're 
very heavy duty and they seem to hold up well. So yeah, I mean, they work well. I don't think you don't wanna hike the AT with it, but for bushcraft, and I think it'd be fine. And it's budget friendly. I've got an old Honda, can I get in your gang? You should have a contest to name your gang. Well, if you wanna have a real gang, leave the names below. Anybody's welcome to it. And then maybe we'll get some patches made, like a $5 charge or something to buy a patch and get a membership card. Everybody in the bushcraft community will wanna be in it. They'll pretend they have motorcycles because they're gonna to wanna to be in it. More bush drinking. Well, apparently bush drinking is the most dangerous thing in the planet and I'm drunk right now. I'm really not drunk right now, but that'll spaz somebody out. Somebody was just hard on the keyboard when I said that before I can even get the rest of the sentence out. I guarantee it. Now they're hitting the backspace. <laughs> Did you call it a belt pouch instead of a fanny pack because it's more masculine? It's honestly just a fanny pack. Fanny packs you wear in the front. I dug around my house trying to look. I had this black and fluorescent green fanny pack that I was gonna wear for this video. I'm pretty bummed that I didn't find it. But what I can say is that I would consider it more of a belt pouch because it's offset, okay? I guess it is sort of like a fatty pack. Dan, are you gonna let the fame and fortune go to your head? I wish I was famous and I wish I had a fortune. I was always a normal guy. I think no matter how much money I'd have, maybe I'd buy myself some cooler toys like a Ferrari. But other than that, I mean, I'm just gonna be a normal guy. Dan, is your first canoe trip planned yet? No, it is not, unfortunately. I have some good ideas. We don't have a date locked down. So I don't wanna say it's not planned. We know what we're doing. Susquehanna River, hit the islands up. It's gonna be fun, just no date set yet. Joe Robinette, dude, where have I been? Super entertaining, man. I'm not sure, Joe. Where have you been? Is it just me or are there safety sallies on every channel dealing with the outdoors and firearms? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say even on cooking channels, people are just crazy. Just crazy. You're gonna cut your fingers off with that knife on that cooking channel because you're sipping wine and making yoki. What's your favorite foods to bring out into the bush? I always take beef jerky with me or I just steal it from my friends. I do like to take cheese with me a lot. I'll take maybe some nuts or some peanut butter along also. So just those basic foods. If I can take a lot of food, I'm gonna try to take a lot of food, but they're like the staples. I do take flour with me. That's normally always in there. I'm a big dumpling fan. I just like to make dumplings. They don't have much taste, but I like them. Yeah, who the hell drinks all day bushcrafting? Tell that guy to go blow himself. <laughs> <laughs> I also got some comments around trimming nails in the field. One of them was, for nail clippers, you can use a stone and file them down via abrasion. The other one was, here's a tip for finger and toenail care. Wash hands, clean your nails, use a rough flat stone as an emery board to basically grind your nails down. Hmm. Ah, oh, hangnail. Oh. Wait a minute, somebody told me on YouTube how to take care of this. All right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Who even tells you to do something like this? They're crazy! Yeah. Hey, that's great advice, guys. Keep giving good advice to everybody. I can't even pick up the phone to do, finish this question and answer. How am I gonna scroll with my phone? What do you honestly think of Bushcraft Build Off Television Show with Matt Graham? What's your favorite Bushcraft style show? I've never seen a show with Matt Graham. I did hear about it, my friends told me about it. I've never seen it. My favorite show is Mountain Men. I just think it's a cool show. Which is not harder having on alone, coffee in the morning or beer at night? Here's the thing, when you're starving that much, although you think that you're gonna want all these like specialty type foods or maybe a beer or a coffee, Last thing on your mind, honestly. So you just don't want that stuff. You're so run down. Like if you drink a beer, you would just feel probably horrible. Same with getting caffeine in your system. You just want to just eat some normal food, just some meat, maybe some potatoes, pasta. That's really what you're craving the most. I'll be in your motorcycle gang. All joking aside, I'm considering joining those two passions and going on a motorbike road trip and wild camping and bushcraft as we go. That would be awesome. Can you get a leather jacket and jump a shark in a swimming pool like Fonzie did in Happy Days on the badass bush bike? Live to ride, ride to live. Yeah, I'm gonna get that tattoo later today. Just find a pool with a shark in it, I guess, for me. That's gonna be the hardest part about that. In a survival situation, would you consider boogers finger food? Yeah, 
Are you into World War II guns like a Springfield M1, Mauser, any interest? I never had a lot of interest in those guns. The first hunting rifle my father bought me was a Mauser Action, so that, that was really about it. Not that they're not cool guns, I just never really got involved with them. Whose beard is better, yours or Zach's? You mean Zach Fowler. So Zach Fowler's beard looks like he took orange yarn and glued it on his face. Definitely mine. <laughs> oh, I hope you're doing well, Zach. Just kidding, buddy. What is the worst injury accident you had in the woods and how did you treat it? I've never had any major injuries out in the woods. So I'm, I'm always on the very cautious side. So, although I bush drink, I bush drink, I'm gonna kill myself. That's gonna be an ongoing joke for a long, long time, so get used to it. Ride on, brother, ride on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. Can you ride a horse and when you reenact, you take one? That's really the mountain men era that they use more of the horses. I've never seen it really in the 18th century long hunter, but they might. But um, I rode a horse one time. So in college, this is just a quick story. In college, my roommate had horses at his farm. I'm gonna say it was probably sophomore year. He said, hey, let's go back to my place. My, we're gonna eat and we'll take the horses out. I'm like, yeah, cool. So we get all set up, he's setting up the stirrups and everything else, and he's like, oh, I gotta check your lengths, gets everything set up, we start going, the horse ain't cooperating. He's like, well, that one's not too good, let's uh, throw you on the one I'm using. So I'm like, well, doesn't that have to get all readjusted? He's like, nah, we'll be fine. This is literally what I'm like with the stirrups on the, on the harness. Just going full bore through a field. I didn't walk right for at least three weeks, at least. Terrible experience. Terrible. If you had to move to a different state, which state would you move to? Out of all the states that I've been to, Colorado was by far my most favorite. I think I would move there. And I think that's partly because my wife also loves that state and I would want her to go with me. What, no Yingling? You're from PA. I'm from 15 minutes where the original brewery was. Here's the thing. I feel like just when I was younger, we would always get Yingling and drink it all the time. And it's, I don't know, it's one of those things, you know, when you go somewhere and all locals are like, yeah, yeah, it's here. And everybody else is like, oh my gosh, that's where it's at. It's that kind of thing. So it's not bad. I just, I don't know. You want a million subscribers? You need your wife in a bikini and some clickbait thumbnails. Clickbait thumbnails, eh, I don't know, maybe I'll try. My, I asked my wife, she said there's a no go on the bikini thing. I tried. Quickly becoming my favorite YouTube personality. Thank you. Do you have any road trips planned in the near future? Not as of right now, nothing that's concrete. Would you think less of me if I told you I like hard ciders and not beer? No, not at all. I mean, I'm just, I don't like real sweet or sugary things, so I always feel like the ciders are gonna just have too much sugar in for me and I'm gonna have a real bad headache after. Do you ever do any overnight backpacking? If so, what's the setup to cook? I don't specifically say, okay, I'm gonna put a backpack on and hike and camp, if that's what you're asking. If it's put a backpack on, and backpack into a camp and just stay in and backpack out. Yeah, I do that quite often. Even if we take away just the time I spend on my school property, whenever we have a chance to go with friends and backpack in somewhere, camp and backpack out, we do that. I mean, it's awesome. Who makes your toboggan? I'm assuming you meant the hat I had on the last video that some people call them toboggans, Filson. What type of first aid, if any, do you carry in the woods? Also, can you do a video on it? The only thing additionally that I will ever carry, if I'm traveling into a remote area outside of somewhere that I can just access a vehicle quite quickly, is some aspirin or ibuprofen. I also carry something in case you get the diarrhea. And then I think a tourniquet is super important, especially if people are using axes. If somebody cuts the wrong part of themselves, if you don't have that tourniquet, they're gonna die. So I think that's important. Otherwise, it's just wilderness first aid. So just make and do until I can get back for good medical treatment. I'm starting to grow a beard and it itches. Is that my man beard killing off my baby beard? And if so, can anything kill my man beard? Yeah, let's say yes, it's killing off your baby beard and you're gonna have a big, thick, lush, full beard and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. The only thing that kills a man beard is a bad woman. <laughs> How much do you bench? What's your deadlift personal record? Sumo? or conventional, love the channel. So obviously you know a little bit about powerlifting. So I'll go over my three lifts. Okay, so back in, I don't even know the year, but when I was 23 was when I was my absolute strongest. I was weighing in the 282 pounds. I would cut weight for lifting competitions and get down to 275. 
in competition. My best bench was 465. My best deadlift was 680 and my best squat was 800. Now that was in competition. I was wearing lifting equipment. So in the gym, on the top of my head, what I can remember is around 390 for my bench was the best. I never broke that 400 mark. I'm a terrible bench. Look at how long these arms are, terrible. I was always lanky, but deadlift was um, 680. That was my best deadlift because I just didn't have to wear a suit because I had good body mechanics for that. And squat was 750. So I was pretty solid with my lower body, upper body, Never that good. I'd still beat Sean Kelly though in an arm wrestling match. You're quickly becoming my favorite YouTube personality. Thank you yet again. Why did you take a sip of that Coors Light and pour it out? The grass doesn't deserve that. Ha ha, couldn't resist. Ha 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 you're real funny. <laughs> that was funny. What are your thoughts on car camping for starters? All right, just about done. Let the car camping begin. Babe. What? Don't forget about the two coolers in here. Oh, and my two bags of clothes and my two pillows. You know I can't sleep without my pillows. I think that car camping is great. I personally love to go one or two times a year car camping. I love to literally just pack the car with so much equipment that it's like being at home except I'm outside. So I take a ton of folding chairs and a ton of food, multiple coolers, just tents and hammocks, anything you think you might need up to like a bug screen for over the table that's gonna be there. It's just a fun time. If you don't do that and it's like outside of your realm, you need to because it's super fun. Get a bunch of people that you know and do it. The only downfall with that is that there's just so much equipment. Packing up and unpacking, that's it, one of those things. But what I can say is this, that if you can really narrow your, if you're gonna do that consistently and you're gonna narrow your gear down that you're like, hey, everybody has a backpack, we have our tent, cooler, maybe a, a kitchen set up and some camp gear, enough that it's a little bit to pack but not overly crazy, it's a fun time. I have a good time. I like to do the state parks in Pennsylvania. I'm slowly getting to each and every one of them. It's gonna take me a while to do all of them, but at some point in my life I will. Who would win in a banana peeling contest, you or a monkey? I have no idea, there's not monkeys. What? Obviously the monkeys would win. All right, so I think that's gonna just about wrap it up for question and answer this week. As I say every single week, it's up to you guys to ask the questions so I can answer them. So leave the questions below and we'll keep this ball rolling because I absolutely love doing this. And from the response we're getting, I think everybody out there is liking it. So if you haven't already, please hit the like button below. Also smash that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, you can check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Stay in the woods. Pew.